so let's dig into our, our top tick here, uh, our top tier pick, pick. pick. <laughs> Innovalon. That's uh, INOV, uh, revenue of uh, 452 million over the trailing 12 and a market cap of 1.38 billion. Um, they're uh, sort of unique in here. They're uh, one of the uh, strong, in fact, maybe even the only uh, healthcare oriented play in our list uh, healthcare slash tech. Yeah, I think that's a great way to describe them. They are a healthcare company, but realistically, they're a technology company, they're a SaaS provider. What's really compelling to me about Anovalon is that they probably had the most data from the um, from the uh, most different sources in the healthcare arena. I think the only company with more data on patients and outcomes is um, Optum Health, and which is owned by United Healthcare. Uh, over the last three quarters, they've had some challenging uh, issues on the top line. Uh, in the first quarter, I think they, they reduced guidance by 5%. And the quarter in the second quarter, they reduced guidance by, in the mid-teens. And in the most recent quarter, they just um, lowered their guidance by $40 million. I think that those reductions in guidance the last those few quarters are more uh, of a timing issue. And company, what and unique, specific issues uh, with certain transactions, um, and I also believe that with the um, president-elect Trump coming in and his rhetoric, rhetoric around repealing Obamacare, I'm sure it placed a lot of uncertainty in a lot of the uh, healthcare customers that Anovalon targets. So, if you look at what's happened in the, uh, recently here, I think some of that is you know, policy, uh, you know, related kind of concerns. But um, longer term, uh, these guys are, in my mind, uh, from a product standpoint, are far superior to a lot of their competitors just just due to the sheer volume of data that they have. And I, I thought it was very... And the ability to, to analyze it. It's just amazing. Right, right. And, you know, at the end of the day, data is the new oil. So <laughs> if, if you <laughs> no, are a healthcare is. company with the, mo with the most data... And you're going after uh, clients, and, well, and the only client that, or the only competitor that you have that has more than you is, quote unquote, a, a you know, uh, an issue for some of the. Um, well, United Health is not going to be able to sell their data to other health insurance yeah. providers. So, I think Anovalon is in, a, in an ideal. Um, so it's kind of quasi monopolistic, almost outside of United. Right. right. But I also think that uh, Anovalon is very forward thinking when they look at um, trying to partner with device companies. They're also partnering with um, the Quest Diagnostics of the world. So they have information coming from a lot of different uh, areas within healthcare. And uh, over time, I think that is going to create a pretty significant move for the company now yeah, so, I, I, so, so what, like the way i break it down i do i don't know Innovalon nearly as well as Guelan does it was a great pick in in my opinion um and uh it was so a couple things that kind of come to mind it's a perfect example of our assassin data sort of thesis that the next wave of SaaS is going to be a, you get the software functionality and then you get data to analyze on top of it and the combination of those two is very powerful um and then Two, uh, hey, healthcare, you know, Obamacare, does, no, no Obamacare, reduced Obamacare. Look, at the end of the day, outcomes matter. And we're not, you know, we're, we're, we're not going to go wholesale backward into the way it was. I just don't believe that that's going to happen. So the, and, and, and so they're in the exact right space. I mean, healthcare is a, even though it's increased its spending on IT overall, it still ranks below, well below, you know, most of the other uh, sectors. I think it's gone from 2% to now 5% of revenue gets spent on IT. Now, financial services, which is also a similarly info, info you know, intensive uh, uh, sector, is more like Fifteen uh, percent, yeah, it's like triple. Right. So, so you know, we we see uh, that, and then and then the last part I'll, I'll just throw in here is, is that um, the stock has really gotten smacked down. I mean, yeah, you you know, anytime you you issue reduced guidance three times in a row, you are killing yourself, you know, as an IR department relative to what if you had just taken it down 40% in one fell swoop, um, they, the stock wouldn't have been hit as badly. Um, but in our view, 
IR, a bad IR department or you know, a non-optimal IR department doesn't necessarily mean that the business is broken. It just means that their ability to communicate with Wall Street hasn't been that great. And those can create mispricing. Those situations can create you know, mispricing and, and great opportunity. And I do believe that this is one. So, um, and there's a lot of companies that, uh, and obviously, so as investors, yeah. we're not the only ones who, who we think will believe this. And you know, that there are lots of acquirers out there that, that can get you know, what we think is, is, a, un, is a unique property. I mean, would, you call, would you call it unique? I would call it pretty u- close to unique. Well, I, I would actually call it very unique. Um, the company was founded in 1999. So if, if you think about that, so 16 years ago, they made a concerted effort to go out and acquire as much data as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was well before. On, any, on patients, specifically. Right. Yeah. They, they actually have yeah. right now data on 1.3 million patients. And that's over 9 billion outcomes. Hmm. So that's 9, nine wow. billion different incidents where a patient goes into a doctor's office and information is gathered that a Novolon has. And it also, when you think about it from this standpoint, a Novolon, uh, as John alluded to, uh, has not done the, the best job of communicating with the street on projections and, and, and guidance. But this is also a company that just went public in 2015. So, right. you know, the communication with the street is, is not, it's a lot more art than science. And yeah. clearly, it takes a while. They're on the, you know, there's some learning curves to be um, right. kind of uh, digested here. But, uh, and, the, you know, so this $40 million reduction, uh, well, they had an opportunity that they thought was going to materialize in the most recent quarter that was going to generate almost $40 million in business. And, um, I believe what happened is the customer was un, you know, ran into a financial situation where they were un, unable to pay. And oh, see. Um, so you had a $40 million reduction in, in, to, in the top line, but the, the stock got hit by almost $400 million. So market now, cap-wise. Yeah. Market cap-wise. Yeah. So now you have got a company who, you know, as of close today, is probably trading, has a market value of $1.4 billion. They've got almost 600, $600 to $700 million in cash on the balance sheet. So somebody could easily come in and offer uh, $20 a share and buy the stock or buy the entire company for, you know, right around a $2.6, $2.7, $2.6, billion price tag. Right. And once you strip, you take the cash that they would be uh, inheriting. with it, it, No, it's basically a $2 billion market cap uh, acquisition price for a company that's generating almost four hundred. million. 425, 450 yeah, million. Four, four or five types sales. That's not so yeah, bad. so now, right. uh, really one thing bad. you mentioned, uh, yeah, this word has come up a couple of times here. And it's profitable. Yeah. That's the other, and it's profitable. So we're not talking about one of these. Right, right. right. So, so uh, just to kind of, uh, to recap up here on Inovalon, uh, we've mentioned the phrase outcome uh, or outcomes here a, a couple of times. Uh, one of the things that uh, Inovalon benefits from uh, is the shift in the way insurance companies and uh, medical providers view their their patient workload and, and what they're trying to achieve. It's no longer just a metric of measuring, uh, you know, somebody uh, you know had this uh, you know uh, this symptom, so we issued this pill. It's now more outcome oriented uh, in there. You know, what's the long term health uh, of the patient? And that's where uh, I, I think they've benefited from Obamacare. Uh, you know, potentially being put in place because there was a much stronger focus on patient outcomes, uh, you know, uh, in emphasis. And that, of course, is driven by data. You know, the more data you have, the better you can manage that, right. manage and track, um, you know, that outcome yeah. there. Yeah. So, uh, so potential acquirers here, um, we're looking at, um, um, uh, interestingly, uh, our number one pick here, Vista Equity Partners, uh, right. you know, as, as an acquirer. So, so why a, a PE firm, um, you know, is the number one choice to uh, marry up with Inovalon, our number one pick in the 2017 list? Well, if you look at what a PE firm finds attractive in an acquisition candidate, they always, I mean, they like companies with very small debt levels. Novalon has less than, um, you know, you know the net. Uh, maybe a hun- no more than two hundred million in debt right now. They generate pretty strong cash flows. As John mentioned earlier, they are profitable. They have op margins that were as high as thirty three percent, thirty four percent, and they've kind of taken a little hit uh, in the last couple of quarters. But they're still in the um, mid twenty percent range. So, you know, if they can come in and get a Novalon, again, at 100% premium on today's price and, and offer $20 a share, 
they're buying a company <clears throat> for you know three four times sales so in it in an area that's going to because of policy changes uh, around Obamacare that's going to be even more and more attractive because as Fred mentioned in order to really improve outcomes you have to have the data behind it to understand what's right. happening right. right you know I think uh, w one other aspect of the PE firm that that I personally find attractive uh, is that when you look at somebody like Vista, um, they've got a lot of other plays in and around the data and the analytics space. Yeah, they know uh, what they're they've doing. acquired, you know, the Force Point. They've got uh, Tibco, uh, AEG Data, um, yeah. Marketo, Main Street Hub. I mean, yep. they, they they understand the tech space and the data, and I think they could leverage. Uh, you know that infrastructure a bit to uh, a better outcome for uh, right. for Novalon. Right. Um, but outside of the BE firm, um, we've also identified uh, Cerner, uh, C E R N, uh, and uh, Athena Health, uh, A T H N, uh, as both potential uh, acquirers of this property. So um, that is our uh, our number one pick uh, here. Uh, Novalon, I should mention, is a Sprout in the Samadhi Capital Partners client portfolio.